We back. No. Pan Am. Stay here and Mitch. Saul. I want patrols every half hour. What you got? Reporting directly to me. V, you're here. That's me. What is she doing here? Whoa, no need to I be forbade rude. you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me. No point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Yes, Are Saul. you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Ah, oh, it seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. Seems like you're just being rude. People will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? Saul so wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. True. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull, Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Hmm. Remember, a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Wow. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. No. You're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Thought you and Solid agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You wanna fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you okay. plan to grab the basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. Ooh. Yoink. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. We'll take the kids. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it I want right that cowboy. here in America. And blue hair. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. 
Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, mm. Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. Yeah, it's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Combing your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Mm. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know, but you guys? A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Well, I mean, we're not gonna not get involved. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. Let's. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clean? Screw you. Get in the car. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing that means nothing if you're alone. Why does she sound like she's on a radio? Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. You ain't Though, on no radio. Never was completely alone. Had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I don't remember that. We have arrived. You have arrived at your destination. Oh, and by the way, the bells are gone. I like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V. Any questions? Uh, no. Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Let's get to work, people. Uh, talk to the nomads optional. What's up? Okay. What's up? Okay. What's up? 
What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While Teddy is just being dead weight. Hmm. Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Once you have both, you have real power. Drink and always breed deep thoughts. He doesn't even have anything in his hand. like people expect some motivational bullshit from me. A goal, a love, and a dream are what breed a real man. Truer words, sister. Have fun, kids. We ain't gonna say that she won't pay. That's just stupid. What you got for me? Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? I guess. Nope. Um, got a use for me? Not particularly. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Not really. Penham asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Because I'm good at what I do. Unlike you. Anyone else I can talk to? Journal. Mitchell. Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his face already. Remember when we first met? Almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain. Something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Yeah, I fixed that. Thanks, V. Don't mention it, buddy. Why is it still... There we go. Need hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Hi, that was quick. Or I could just do that. Yoink. 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 A fan. Some cash. Good vibes. The stairs it is. Throw then. back to you if you know what that's from. Good vibes. Move. We have lights. Mitch and Bob must have managed to connect. Yeah. I did that. Got a little help from yours truly. Shocker? Nope. I've always been fond of trains. <laughs> and the stations okay. where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free? Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once? Perhaps more simply... Yeah, can't say the same. Trains are cool and all, but like, I don't look at them and be like, wow. Okay, here we are. Hopeful trains. Shut up, I'm looting. Someone's gotta loot. Especially when there's cash to be had. Man, you're just ro roaming, oh my god, roaming around, you just see like 200 bucks just laying on the ground. You know, I'd be snagging. Punch. That's what a punch card is, dummy. Would you help me look? I got you. Sure thing. Punch card, punch card, punch card. That is not a punch card. <laughs> or is it? 
Nothing here. Mm. Messages. Threat level is high. Okay. Uh, that says hello. Okay, it must be here somewhere. Not a. Hey, look thoroughly, please. Well, uh, what do you think I'm doing? Hmm. Well, well, well. This lady's like rushing me, bro. Got something. Good job. Yeah, what'd you get? Are you still shot? Wow, they actually gave her the scar. That's impressive. Well, the, the card in the reader. Oh, I was looking at your scar. Chill. Here goes nothing. I'm actually genuinely shocked that they did that. It worked. Come look. That's a train. Little engine that could. Shut up, Johnny. Bye, John. V, I wanted to speak with you. What's up? What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because you asked me to help me. Because mm. it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry. That sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No. I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right. Let's rejoin the others. I don't know if you can... Uh... A friend a lot of people convoy got eyes and ears on it yes Carol checks their communication channels from time to time everything is proceeding as planned for now but that's the way it's looking if you can that is oh my god why am I so slow Really? Nomads, am I right? What is this? Do you know? Nope. Never in a camp when you need her when you see her telling I'm looking for her. Okay. Hey, uh, Saul's looking for you. Saul? Saul? It, it, okay. Guess she doesn't care. Excuse me? That's offensive. We could still Sit your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Can I sit? Am I welcome? Worried about Saul? I asked you a question. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. I think things you are supposed to be having said. Head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. There's nothing the even scorpion. in there. Scorpion. 
Huh? And a Jackie. Don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But y'all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Drink. wonder if those injection marks are supposed to still be there. Gonna... Try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. <laughs> Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? Hello? I'll just lie here a while. By your side. Gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah... You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, V. I didn't see anything. How do you just sleep sitting like that on a log? That's gotta be uncomfortable as anything. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Let's ride. Um, let's ride. What the heck? All right, she's moving. Get her up to speed. One now. We're getting close. This is close. V, shoot out the damn coupler. I did. Jeez. Drive into that house. Okay, trucks are all yours, boy. Move that ass, Teddy boy. Shut Shut me. Time for the festivities. That wasn't. Go, go, go. Oh, can I have a go weapon? We need a new route. I never switched. That's right, I didn't switch this because I was in combat. Or I was uh, in a place I could not switch things. Take a bite of your brain. Help me. Oh, 
what it is about this gun, but I just can't hit fire with it. Hold up. No one leave yet. Trash. Did I reload this? Nope. Oh my god, I hate how that's a thing. It makes no sense. Why? Give me my weapon. Reload it. Vamos. That was very easy. Too easy. That means someone's gonna probably try and kill us on the way. Fuck! It worked! Woo of course it did! Just as I said it would! Okay. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. See, I thought it would only give you the prompt to skip ride if there was nothing left to do. No conversations to be had. This is the second time now where it said that, and they're still talking. So now I don't know, and I don't want to miss things. But, like, I don't want to sit here for them to go. Oh, it's only. Eh. Eh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Just lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. She seemed suspicious about that, though. And I don't like suspicions when we're on a heist. I think I'll just stick this out. Only 175. We're gonna get back and everyone's gonna get like orbital cannoned. Saul is not gonna be happy, I can tell you that much. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Meet with Saul. I'm supposed to be going that way. That way. This way? Hello? Oh, no, there we go. So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. True. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. 
That's it. I'll help you get these big old trucks and then you just leave me here. Couldn't have given me a truck. How many of these people are there? What is this? Leave the camp and wait a day. Oh, okay, well we can continue this. There we go. Oh, shit! It's ready. Would you like to drive it? Yeah. Sure. sure. Be there Be soon. There. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. Bro. That's sick. Is there like... Because I keep getting this stupid relic thing. I don't really know... Like, this is your reputation. That's... Okay. Like, do these go up without progressing? Because that would be really um, unfortunate. I don't think they do. And it doesn't seem like they do. But like, I don't want to not get through everything and then... Like, basically, I, I hope it's not a time thing is what I'm getting at. I can't imagine that's what they would do. That'd be really stupid. I imagine you get through, like, a quarter of the game and then you just become Johnny and you can't do anything. Is this considered my apartment now? Oh. I have my own tent. Why is there random strangers in my tent? Who are you? Fire and Mike. You around I here? I, were on the road. I wish you would get out of my tent. Bro, that's sick. Just a little more. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss. No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. I could have painted fine. it or something. Clean as a whistle. And so, what about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. <sighs> so he's not planning a family council? Oh of course God. he is. He just wants to hey. keep me in the dark hey. a while longer. Stop. I need your help. Sounds like it. What happened? I shouldn't talk about this on the hollow. We gotta meet. That shouldn't uh, when be and allowed where? to happen. Tell me. Glenn, tonight. I'll flick you the details. Will you make it? No. Do my best. Thanks, V. Till then. Alright, back to this. Oh. Sorry. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Come on, hop in. Everything is set. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're not even pressing anything. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything gotta... is dandy. Give me a moment. Very short tempered. Oh, yes! I would get out of the way if I were you guys. Not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Oh, this thing flies? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. Maybe not. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What? No knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. 
Imagine? It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Not really. Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. Uh, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. I can't even really see. This ain't gonna okay. go well. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. Makes sense. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Yes, I'm. Pan Am? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? <laughs> okay, starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch. Panza. Just put it through a few turns. I know how to move. Soft, right? Seems a boat. Mm -hmm. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Better say it quickly. Left. Very good. Keep her going. Right. Yes, that's the way to do it. Really leaving it to the last second here. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. What wrecks exactly? Are? Better than dirt now. Good. Bullseye. Okay, practice is over. Pretty cool. Be cooler if it could fly. Good. Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning, basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Know exactly what you mean. Hmm? Tell you later. Okay, let's try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience Who's feedback. Shooting? Sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now. That's me. Found us. We have to get back to camp. They're rapping. Whole group of them ready for a fight. That's not good. They're here too, Saul. In full force. Take them out. Then haul ash here and make yourselves useful. We'll go straight to camp. We have to help the family. Good thing I got this. What did it say for countermeasures? I think it might have been control. We're almost there. Like I need countermeasures. Okay, B. Let's get to work. This is a transporter. Is everything? Yes. You turn to the dust. 
I don't think he's very happy. I thought she had a different outfit on. Kinda wanna loot those people back there. Yeah, you all of us. Each on his or her own must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Good thing I'm not a nomad. You people are kinda crazy. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. Not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well... Something's weird. I... Many things will have to change. Yes. And to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Hmm. That was fishy. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? That was weird. Why would he all... Like... Hmm. Hmm. I don't trust him. I still want to loot those people, bro. An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. Pretty close. My I don't tent. know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. You no, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the Alda Caldas. Always. <laughs> Good to know. My tent. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Lemonade. All right, with lemonade. Suit yourself. To happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. I can't. They could be your family. Panem, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. It's really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Uh, forget about it. I'll think it over. I promise. Uh oh. Good timing as always. V? That's me. Panem, I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember I... We were talking, then suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. Johnny? For now. Oh. V. 
V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? <sighs> to tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, cut the crap and tell me what's going on. I'm worried. Okay, so... You ever hear of the relic? The Arasaka tech? Does something with personalities? I saw the ads. Sounds like some rich people scam, to be honest. It's not bullshit. I've got a biochip in my head with one of those constructs. And the chip's damaged. So take it out! Uh... Definitely not that simple. Relic's also keeping me alive, but... So this is cyberpsychosis? Because if it is, I know no, people who... No. The chip's data is infecting my neural connections. Got nothing to do with cyberpsychosis. I remove the relic. I die. If I don't deal with the construct, I die. Fuck. Yep. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait, I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Uh... Much better now. Get this mirror Thanks out of here. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. See, so you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. But tell us, how are you? You scared us. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. Then that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Actually, I don't, because I don't really know where we are. Hello, I'm here to follow. Want me to walk with you? Sure. Walk where? You can't be walking with someone if you don't know where you're going. I know this area. Back from the old roots. Okay. You're really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. Thanks. Our time sleeping beauty decided to join us. Hey there. Hey. Why not? What's popping? But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. Look at you moving up in the big leagues. Ooh, you still got this though. V, back to what we were saying. Mm hmm. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Panam. Thanks. Life of the Road. 
This thing's pretty cool. Oh, hey there. Hi. Okay. All right, well, looks like we're doing this now for, uh, oh, hello. I don't know. You hear about you Santiago? Were... Used to be a nomad a long time ago. Ever heard of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Why is folks suddenly recollecting Santiago? A friend of mine did a job with him once. That's one old friend you got. He's a legend, all right. Wouldn't say he was my role model, but, well... He was the man for his time and place. Don't think he was all he was cracked up to be. They say he was a big city nomad, best of both worlds. Except there ain't no such thing. You're either loyal to your family, or you ain't. Doesn't loyalty to your friends count for something? Maybe it does, but then you end up like Santiago. Dead. He snuffed it because some lunatic wanted to blow Arasaka to smithereens. What a friend. Hi there, V. No, I guess we're done with that. Ugh, what? Hello, V. Who are you? Oh, that's that guy. Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Oh my god. Sure, okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson, not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Mm hmm Of course. Be there in no time. But now there's the question. Do I do the one for the cop? Or do I do the one for him? This one was more interesting. The cop just seems like he's doing his job, you know. Doing what he's gotta do. These people have an interesting story. Buzz buzz. Thanks. It doesn't sound like her. Level 25. Saying levels like that makes me want to play COD. Come on. Jeez, look at that squiggly line. It's good to see you again. So something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. Okay. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here. So nobody'll bother us. Mike, we're, we're talking about the cornerstone of my exactly. platform. I'm not doing a You'll U turn just because night court. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass. Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. Isn't this copyright? I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual, how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me a noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me, of all people? Wouldn't rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. Can't blame you. Makes sense. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. Not really. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. We don't know who Notify killed the him. badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. 
Security look into this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. But what about you? They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Wouldn't Can she have answer? heard? Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. Hmm. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either. I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. You're not gonna sleep through you. a gunshot, I'll tell you that. Said you passed out? Your house is That's big, right. it's not that big. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea who you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. Maybe it was a dream? Intruder, take anything. Break anything. Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. This security exist. outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Mm. No clue. No clue yet. Anyone besides SSI come to mind readily? Could be the same people who were behind Mayor Ryan's murder. Or Weldon Holt, Jeff's opponent in the race. The polls have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think maybe you should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? I guess. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. I don't trust them. They're up to something. And that's why I chose Come this on. over the cop. Let me show you around. More of an interesting story. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. It would have been better to be alone instead of having her show me around. But no one said I had to follow her. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, huh, that'd be the real victory. That's why you just say, oh, I forgot. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Hmm. Seems a happy fam. Is that your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Huh, where to? Europe. Looks an nothing like school. them. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away, but with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. I guess. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Um, I don't really care. No sound. New campaign ad. 
Okay, don't care. What's about me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't care. Lady, I'm looking at what I want to look at. This is how I do my investigations. You're going to have to just deal with it. Why is this in my Vote for apartment? Morales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. That's cool. I didn't ask. Nor do I care. I don't care how you run your campaign. Why is it not letting me scan that? What does that even say? It's just food. Oh, how big is this place? Okay. Oh, to Judy. Oh, so that's what she was saying before. Okay, blah, 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 blah. You don't need to follow me, lady. I'll do my work, conduct it on my own. Alright, what do we got here? A weapon. Iron. This is, Jeff's? is where we sleep. That's cool. Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Did you check to see if. Aha, fresh gunpowder residu residue, recently fired, shots plural. Now that's interesting. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. Blue. Those are red. Roses. You sure? Roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Hmm. Very interesting. You're being caught in the lie, ma'am. Let me just steal that from you. I don't need to look in the mirror. Oh, this is a nice place. Hey, I'm in the bathroom, lady. Back up. I said back up. I could talk to her when she was in this room. Come back in here. Conversation? No? Okay. There, there was a. Th okay. Sure. Fine. Didn't want to have the conversation anyway. Oh, how. Okay. Even still, you'd still be able to hear a gunshot. But it is a big place. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Scan the blood trail. 
Scan to find where the trail is leading. I don't even see blood. I feel like blood effects are off. Like, I know they're not, because you see people's head blow up and there's blood leaking out of them. But, like, where the blood at? Scan. What's in here? Sorry about that. He's messed. Think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects? Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this Violet, terrorist started stalking me. Sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot! Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Hmm. Something's fishy. Broken? It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. Fishy because... The roses thing was weird. You would know that. I can guarantee you would know that. Especially because of the way she made it out to be. Other fishy thing. Why the heck did her head start hurting? Typical behavior. Okay. Uh huh. That's me. would make sense now as to why they did not hear the, the whole thing happen, but scan the strange computer. I scanned you. Scan the strange computer. That That's a strange computer, and I scanned it. Something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around. See if we can't spot where our receiver is camping out. Got a vision on our receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. The hell is this all for, though? Follow the Fuck cables. if I know. But my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up to. See these cables? No. Oh. They stop. The cables just end, Johnny. Cables lead here. Gotta be another way inside. Sharp eye, Johnny. Scan the strange computer. Is that like glitched or something? Because I scanned this computer. Oh. Well, that's the wires. Weird hardware. What's it for? Connected to the wall mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Follow the cables. I want to follow these cables. J. Cables. I see them on the map there. But, like, I don't know... 
what that's supposed to be showing me. Oops. That's got to be right where they come in from. And then they just go to here. But why does it show it like that on the map? Let's look around a bit more. I'm not convinced. Not yet. We'll say this. Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. I'm still looking. I don't know. We'll just talk to her. There's a transmitter on the roof. Seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. Know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Hmm. Oh, uh, could be. Tech they're using seems unconventional, though. Do you plan to check it? Yeah. About to pay him a personal visit. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember, it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine, hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Yes, I will keep that in mind. I still don't like how this thing hasn't been updated. I mean, if you look at the map, it goes to... Where is that? Staircase. So you go into the hallway. It's going to like here. cables are what how about we take the wheels V that van could give us a slip any second true that's a good point could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. Why the heck is there a Delamain here? A vehicle of mine went dark near your position. Got her! Fine. Oh. Keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates... Oh, okay. So I'm unable to determine the precise location. Is this a power rifle? Fight and dice! Fight and dice! Nope. 
peek your head out. He's a good guy. Who are you? Who is this dude? I'm so confused. Who is this man? Crazy. Man just shows up. Already know. Oh, rip. in here somewhere. Give me no, that's not what I wanted. There was a separate thing up in front. Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records. Vulnerability to neuroplasticity. It's some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. You mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Uh-huh. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. Jeez. Oh, this is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit! They're wiping the data! We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. Hmm. 
I want to know who this man is. A veteran guard. They're like, who are you? Careful. Keep your distance. You keep your distance. Now out of my sight. Get out of my sight. No, 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 not not you. Wrong person. Uh you. V, do you have any news? You're gonna wanna sit down for this. It's it's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, and now using some kind of conditioning to- Wait. Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I, we need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Hmm. Well, this is the place we were, uh, with Johnny. Being stupid. Hey. Huh. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. New episodes every Wednesday at 10. Wasn't that long ago we last met. Something happened since then? No. I mean, something did happen, though not recently. Last year, the city council of It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax. No need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once... I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious. And not just with Jeff. Hmm. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. Oh, that must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. Would explain the head injury and the roses. I find that terrifying. I think anyone in their right mind would. Mentioned any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they just wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? Haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Hmm. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. 
The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you? Try to blackmail you? They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. Jeez. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz? I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. Wanted everything to just go on and flow on, because it was convenient. Convenient? I got the perfect life. Prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like, living like this. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head? All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. Or that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... It'll destroy him. Hmm. You think if I tell him everything that I'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. <sighs> so how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. Truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing. But when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Mm -hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. Holt. I won't. We're blaming Holt. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Very. Whole thing's very fucked interesting. up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Nope. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? Nope. But hey, at least we know what we're up against. No. No, this is different. Saw yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds' individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty is that everything's fair game. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters in your electric toothbrush. You name it. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis' lives? Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Tough choice indeed. But that's a tough choice that'll have to be made another time. Because we're done. But we need to make sure we remember. We're blaming Holt. That's what she said, at least. I don't know if it's going to give you like options or whatnot. 
but that's what she said to do. But anyway, we're done. We did a lot today. A lot of things happened. We got the whole Pan Am thing, and then this whole on conspiracy. That was weird. But anyway, we 